snap grip, and I think it's one of the best MagSafe accessories for the iPhone to date. For the past couple of months, I've been seeing nonstop ads on Facebook and Instagram for this product, and normally I could care less what products are advertised to me online, but the idea of having a DSLR type grip on my iPhone seemed really interesting to me, especially given how much better cameras have gotten in phones over the last couple of years. This video isn't sponsored in any way by Snap Grip. I literally just broke down and finally bought the product given the number of times it was advertised to me. And I wanted to share my experience with you guys so you'd know if it's actually a good product or not. Cameras on phones keep getting better and better every single year. And more often than not, I find myself reaching for my iPhone to take a picture of my kids or while I'm traveling rather than digging through my bag and pulling out my camera and adjusting lenses and uh, other settings, it's just been a lot easier and quicker to shoot with my iPhone. But one of the things that I've missed the very most is having a grip that I can wrap my fingers around and a shutter button to take that picture. I've been using the snap grip for about two weeks now and I have some initial thoughts and impressions. The grip, first off, is great. I really like the rubbery texture that it has on it. It's actually really similar to the grip on Canon cameras. Specifically on my Canon RP, it feels about the same depth. Uh, it's really comfortable to hold and has enough room for my three lower fingers to fit on it with my pointer finger sitting on top of the shutter button. It's a really, really nice feel overall and I think it's a great grip. It also doubles as a stand to prop your phone up. So say you wanted to watch something vertically or horizontally, maybe sticking your phone on a tray table on an airplane, it can totally do that and it stands up better than I originally would have thought it would. Up on the top of the grip, you've got two buttons. The first is the shutter button, which feels really satisfying to click. It's a little bit different than a normal mirrorless or DSLR camera shutter button in that it doesn't have a halfway down click for focus, it's just a single click. It's not a bad thing, it's just a little bit different than I'm used to for that style of taking photos. The second button on the top turns on and off the wireless charging feature since there's a battery bank built into this camera. If you press the smaller button once, it activates wireless charging and you have to press it twice consecutively to turn off wireless charging. The grip itself has a 3200 milliamp hour battery built inside, which is enough to charge a regular iPhone 14 from zero to full and charge a 14 Pro Max to about 75% from empty, which is great. I really like the wireless charging feature. It allows you to shoot video for longer extended periods of time with your screen on, and you don't have to worry about running out of battery while you're using it in longer shooting sessions. The battery pack for this device actually sits inside of the grip itself. It has a nice weight to it, but it's definitely not heavy. There's a type C charger on the bottom, which is great since I have lots of those cables laying around and in my travel bag. And it has six indicator lights on the back that will tell you if it's connected to Bluetooth, if it's actively charging a device and what the battery level is. When you connect an iPhone to it and begin charging, the iPhone seems to think that it's an official MagSafe charger based on the animations on screen, which is pretty cool, but it doesn't seem to have any official certification from what I've seen. I was recording a video the other day, it was about 20 minutes long, and I did notice as I was charging my iPhone that the battery pack was starting to get a little bit warm to the touch. Definitely wasn't hot, but a little bit warmer than I feel like it should be, and I could feel some of that heat uh, on the back of my case when I pulled the snap grip off. Not a deal breaker, but definitely something to be aware of uh, that it can generate a little bit of heat, but it's not unexpected for a lot of battery packs that I've used in the past. Speaking of cases, if you wanna use the snap grip, you're gonna need a MagSafe compatible case, which basically means you need to have those circle magnets inside of the back of the case in order to attach these devices together. You can just do it bare bones on the back of your iPhone, but most people keep it in a case, so you'll just need to make sure you have a MagSafe one. I'm using a Spigen case on my 14 Pro Max, and it fits really, really well. The magnets hold up great. Um, overall, the magnet strength of the snap grip is awesome, and it actually has a little bit of a, kind of a rubber texture around the magnets and a little strip on the back of the grip that adds a little bit of friction between the device and the snap grip, which holds it in place really, really well, both horizontally and vertically. 
If you don't have an iPhone that supports MagSafe or you have an Android phone, uh, the snap grip actually includes a little plastic magnetic attachment that you can stick on the back of your phone with some adhesive. Uh, it is actually just plastic in the center, so you could still wirelessly charge your phone while using this attachment, but I'm not exactly sure that you would easily be able to line up that sticker with the wireless charging pad on the back of your phone. So although it could work, I definitely think this is more suited for iPhones that support MagSafe. One of the other really cool things about the snap grip is that it has magnets both on the back and the front, so you can snap on additional magnetic accessories. They also sell like a tripod, um, a light, and even a cold shoe mount. Um, they all just snap on really efficiently and easily just using the same magnets and they're all interchangeable. You can place them in any order. It's actually really neat. Given the prices of some of these accessories though, when I made a purchase a couple of weeks ago, um, I ultimately decided only to get the snap grip and the cold shoe mount. One of the things that I find whenever I'm shooting video on my phone is that the audio is just never very good, especially when you're outside and it's a little bit windy. I hate that wind noise in any of uh, my video footage. It's just unusable at that point. So I decided to go with the cold shoe mount so I could put a small um, cold shoe microphone up on top and plug that into the iPhone as I shoot video. It actually works really, really well as a pretty quick run and gun setup. I actually really liked it. It is $30 though, and it's basically just a little magnetic puck with a small amount of metal on top. I feel like it's definitely overpriced for what it is. I feel like pricing should be closer to like $15, but I guess you're definitely paying for that convenience with it, and I think it's great. If I could do it all over again though, I definitely think I would have gotten the tripod. I think it's actually really neat how you can just magnetically attach the tripod to the back of the phone. Then you could actually take the snap grip off and stick it behind your back and use it as a shutter button to remotely take pictures on your phone while it's connected to the tripod. Uh, I think this scenario would be great for travel and even around uh, your house as you're trying to get pictures with your kids. It's kind of a cool option. And if I could do it over again, I would definitely get it. One other piece of purchase advice that I have for you if you're interested in getting this is uh, to look around for some promo codes. At the time that I purchased it, there was a promo code uh, called SIGNUP15 to give you 15% off. Just something I found, it may work, it may not, but I'll leave that down in the description below. One other thing to keep in mind is in my case, when I purchased this, uh, I actually got a tracking number that showed it was coming from China and it took a little over two weeks to get here. So if it's something that you're interested in, uh, I would definitely purchase it in advance of a trip or uh, some event that you're planning to use it for and just give that a little bit of extra time for the, the product to ship. It was definitely fast, it was free, but um, something to keep in mind. Despite how skeptical I was at first with all of the ads that I saw for this device, it's actually really good. I've really enjoyed using it over the past couple of weeks and I can see myself using this all the time around the house and when I go out and travel. I think it's super convenient that it just magnetically attaches to the back. It'll instantly start charging your phone. It has a really satisfying uh, shutter button and it's really comfortable to hold and I feel way more confident holding my phone with one hand than I ever did without it. I also really like the cold shoe mount. I love adding an external mic to my phone and this is by far the easiest way to do it. So I definitely think this is worth it if you're somebody who likes to shoot lots of photos and videos and loves that DSLR type feel. Um, it's a great accessory and I definitely think it's for people who love to travel. Um, I love having something that combines a lot of different uses into one that's small and compact. And I definitely think this is it for travel enthusiasts. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I make tech videos here on YouTube and I do my best to try and help you make informed purchase decisions. So thanks for watching.